This is Twit. Long ago, in a distant land, I purchased the Waymo Stage Scene Controller. This was a little remote device that has uh, three stateless switches on it, three stateless buttons on it, uh, one, two, and three. And this was a thing that um, Belkin's Waymo made that does not work with the Waymo app at all or anything like that. It is meant to be used with HomeKit. So you don't even use the app. You can't use the app to set it up. You set it up in the Home app uh, directly. And it would give you three buttons that you can use to control all sorts of things. You can control different uh, accessories in your home, different HomeKit-enabled accessories, or you can use it to control scenes in your home. And this device was, uh, the reason why I purchased it was because they were, they set it up so that eventually it would work with Thread. Up to that point though, it worked via Bluetooth and it was absolute crap. It was terrible, it didn't work, and it, the, the few times when it did work, it would take so long for it to actually work. So I kept it in a drawer and said, I'm not using you until you add Thread support. Um, then, the Thread Group did a uh, case study with the Waymo Stage Scene Controller with Thread, and I was a little bit upset, and I, I talked about it at the time on uh, my once show Smart Tech Today about how it was a little bit perturbing that the company, uh, the, the, the Thread Group decided to do a uh, case study on something that wasn't even available to the public yet, the Thread support. Um, but the thread update finally came to the Waymo remote, the Waymo stage scene controller. And as I expected, it is night and day different. You press the button and it does the thing, which is not what it did before when it was Bluetooth. Um, I, in fact, yeah, Scooter X just shared in the chat, uh, in, the, in the Club Twit chat, the tweet that I sent um, where it says, before the thread group firmware update, Utterly useless. You're going back in the box. After the Thread Group firmware update, OMG, I need one of these for every room. And I truly do because this little $49.99 remote is so fantastic. So right now I have it set up so that one uh, triggers a scene that I call on air. That turns on my studio lights and the different lights in my space and sets the... Um, the two Hugo lights to blue and uh, purple. Um, two, which turns off all of the lights in my studio and my, in my office. And then three, which is what I call night light. And it just turns on those two lights uh, at, a, at a deep red so that if I need to come in here at night, I can come in here without it blasting my retinas. So watch this. I press three and immediately it's already done the thing that I asked it to do. I press one and immediately it's already doing the thing that I asked it to do. Some people are probably going like, What's the, why is that so special? You have to understand that this before you'd press it and sometimes it would work two minutes later. Sometimes it wouldn't work at all. Sometimes it would, um, you would press the button and nothing would happen. Sometimes you'd press the button and then you'd press another button out of frustration and then the, the first thing would happen instead of the second thing. It was absolute garbage as a Bluetooth remote, but now with Thread, it does what I want it to do when I want it to do it and it does it immediately. Like, that is all I want from my devices and this is truly, truly magical in how well it works. I am so happy with the Waymo Stage Scene Controller with Thread, which is something I never thought I would say about a, sadly, about a Belkin device because for the most part, I do not recommend Waymo products. Um, that may change whenever I, I'm also going to be testing out the Waymo plug with Thread support because the Waymo switches from before have always had issues with those. They've always had disconnectivity all sorts of issues. But now with thread support, I just press the button and the thing happens. And I'm just looking forward to the future of the smart home with thread. So um, that's worth checking out. Uh, Waymo stage scene controller with thread, $49.99. Uh, now that it has thread support, uh, the important thing is that you have to have a thread border router in your home of some sort, um, meaning a HomePod mini, 
uh, one of the newest generation of Apple TVs. Some of the Eve home products are also uh, thread border routers. It's still a little confusing um, how all that works, but if you are thinking about getting one of these, feel free to reach out to me if you're not sure uh, what you might need, what you if, if anything that you already have uh, works. You can always reach out and I'd be happy to help you answer those questions. But um, I gotta tell you, night and day, um, and finally something that was worth, uh, the cost. I was so pumped whenever that firmware update rolled through and I was able to, uh, set it up with thread support.